In the recent past I've been observing something a little bit disturbing really. And what I've been observing is antenatalists that seem to be happy or that seem to be enjoying themselves. Which is peculiar. But first of all, let me get my own personal feeling about this out of the way. And personally, I have to say I'm happy. I'm glad to see that these people are happy. I'm glad to see people enjoying themselves. And it doesn't matter whether you are an antenatalist or anything else for that matter. You have as much right as anybody else to be happy and to enjoy yourself. That is my personal perspective. But I must put my personal perspective to the side. Because after all, it is only fair that the antenatalists should be judged by their own exacting and uncompromising perspective on reality. So let's do that. Let's judge those happy antenatalists by their own standards. First of all, we must observe that in the balance of reality, suffering outweighs any sort of pleasure, any sort of happiness, always. That is the antenatalist perspective on reality, on existence. And therefore, all of these people, every time they display any sort of enjoyment or happiness, are only displaying how deluded they are. And that, you know, at best we should pity them for that. But what's even more important is that these are the people who judge anybody who might have decided, for whatever reason, to indulge in procreation and they judge them very harshly. They judge these people as being selfish of putting their own wants, needs and desires before that of their potential offspring. And if we apply those exacting and uncompromising standards to the antenatalists that are sitting there enjoying themselves, who are displaying happiness, we must therefore conclude that in the face of a reality in which there are undeniably real and not potential people who are undeniably right now at this very moment suffering and they are nonetheless indulging in this display of enjoyment of happiness publicly showing off their fun and their happiness then these people are clearly by their own standards being selfish not just are they being selfish but they are putting their own happiness before that of anybody else's and we must condemn them in no uncertain terms as the evil monsters that they are no don't worry I think it's idiotic as well.